Welcome to the Hardcore Closer Podcast. I'm Ryan Steumann, founder of HardcoreCloser.com, and this podcast is all about helping you, the salesperson, close more sales. And look, whether you're selling cars, homes, financial services, consulting, whatever it is that you sell, this podcast is dedicated to help you generate higher quality leads, increase your closing ratios, and show you how to charge premium fees for the items you sell so you can get paid what you're worth. Welcome to episode 67 of the Hardcore Closer podcast, and I'm glad you're here. If you're a first timer, be sure to check out the previous episodes. There's uh, at least 66 of those. And uh, do me a favor, leave me a review on iTunes. The thing is about iTunes is our, we, we live in a review driven society. And uh, if you come here, you appreciate what you're listening to, then by all means, just head over to the podcast app right there on your iPhone. If you use an Android or if you listen to this on SoundCloud or YouTube, just hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. What I'm trying to do is reach as many people as possible. I put in time every single week to create this show for folks like you. And I want to uh, help grow this so that I can influence 300 million salespeople to have a better life. I mean, that's not a bad goal to have, right? It's you got to have a big, audacious goal in life. That's my big, audacious goal. But look, I can't make it happen all alone. And uh, I need you to just leave me a review on iTunes. Listen, when you leave me a review on iTunes, here's what we do. We read one every episode. And every episode, when you leave a review, you can pitch your business in the review. I don't give a shit, right? I'm not like here to be like, it's not the Ryan Stuman stroke the ego show over here. Just make the review your sales pitch. I don't give a shit. We'll still read it on the air. Put your website, your phone number, whatever you want on here. What I'm trying to do is get the reviews so that more people can see our social to be more visible on iTunes, be more visible on SoundCloud. But like, here's an example, uh, apply it every day. It's five stars. This was uh, January 9th of uh, this year. Clinton Moran says, first off, Stuman's story is very relatable to my own. His podcasts are killing it. One of the best closers I've ever had the pleasure of listening to. Keep it up. Clo- uh, keep it up, bro. Closer life. Hashtag closer life. And, uh, and so that's cool. I appreciate that, Clint Moran. And uh, this was back before we really started doing this. But you could send in a review that's something like, hey, I love this show. And by the way, I sell air conditioners. My name's Michael Onk, and you can find me at, you know, whatever. So that's like, I'm totally cool with that. I read it on the air, too. So that's the way it's like. And my incentive for you to leave a review is we might advertise your business here on our show. Does, are we clear on that? So, all right, cool. Let's jump into the episode. Today, we're going to talk about uh, why online funnels uh, aren't working. But first, before we get into that, I said let's jump in the episode, but I got a little sidetracked right here. Listen, what if I could tell you that there was a multi-millionaire entrepreneur that literally grew a business from zero dollars to eight figures that was featured multiple times in Forbes, that was talked about being one of the best Facebook marketers uh, by several different people on Huffington Post, uh, been interviewed 300 times uh, throughout podcasts and magazines and everything else, just a, a prolific action taker. What if I could put that multimillionaire in front of you and you could learn from that multimillionaire, that entrepreneur that built an, a, a business from scratch, and you could learn from that entrepreneur how you want to mold your business, whether it be selling for a corporation and you want to scale that bad boy, whether it be your real estate brokerage and you want to scale a team or mortgage or insurance, pretty much anything, whether you have a small business or you are an entrepreneur in, or what we call an intrapreneur inside an organization, what if you could work with somebody who's been there, done that, has the expertise, is a prolific action taker and motivator, and you could get that for less than $10 a day? Do you think that'd be a good deal? For less than the cost of two Happy Meals, you legit get access to an entrepreneur, millionaire, and his network to be able to learn what you need to do with scaling your business, creating funnels, running ads online, how to create banners, the network of people you need, lawyers, attorneys, CPAs, access to all that stuff, literally less than $10 a day. Is that something you would jump on? If you broke it down into the obscene for $10 a day, is that something that would be worth it to you? Because look, you're listening to that person's voice right now. I'm all of those things. Plus, I'm a five-time best-selling author. Plus, I've helped thousands of people uh, double and triple their income. I've helped 10 people become six-figure per-month earners. And by the end of this year, I will have created five new millionaires. You could be next. And it all starts by joining our mastermind and our network, getting plugged into our training system, which is at BreakFreeAcademy.com forward slash entourage for less than $10 a day. I can be the plug. I've got it. I've got the information, the network, the distribution. I've got everything that you possibly need. That's me, the expertise. You want to write a book? 
We know how to do that shit. You want to write for major publications? We know how to get in that shit. You want to do podcast interviews and get a PR person to represent you? We got that person. You need some legal work done? We got that person too. And you get access to all these at our rates for $10 a day. Just head over to breakfreeacademy.com forward slash entourage. And there's so much more to the program too, but we got to get into the show. One of the things we talk about in Break Free Academy Entourage a lot is online ads and funnels. And if you're not familiar with what a funnel is, I'll break it down for you real quick. First of all, you definitely, this must be your first show. (laughs) If you're not familiar with what a funnel is by now, it's your first show. We're glad that you're here. And uh, what a funnel is, is basically a lead capture mechanism. So the top of the funnel would be the offer. It's like, hey, how to get you know, unlimited leads for, let's just make it the offer that I made. It's like how to get access to an elite team of millionaires for less than $10 a day. Okay. So that's like your offer. That's the top of the funnel. The people that say, Hey, yeah, I'm interested in that. And they give their name, email address and phone numbers. They become the middle of the funnel, right? They've gone through the top. They've, they've narrowed it out a little bit. There's a, the top is very broad. The middle is a little bit narrower. The people that come out of the bottom and end up buying the product that spend the, the less than $10 a day. Uh, those are the people that came out the bottom of the funnel, right? So what you're doing is you're losing people, you're losing leads along the way, but the funnel's squeezing out sales. That's the the idea and the visual behind the funnel. But there's keys. A lot of people think the funnel is like this this website. You know, my buddy Russell Brunson, he owns a company called Click Funnels, and you can go to hardcorecloser.com forward slash CF and uh, you can sign up for a, I think it's 15 or 30 day trial that they've got over at ClickFunnels. We'll leave the uh, notes here. Let me let me double check this while we're on here. We'll leave the notes in the uh, show notes, whatever the hell it's called that Robert does. He does all that fancy shit, but I'm pretty sure it's hardcorecloser.com. Yes, so it's hardcorecloser.com forward slash CF. You can get a 14 day free trial if you go to my website and you sign up right there by clicking uh, the link that I have there for you. It's an affiliate offer, just by the way. Russell's going to send me some money if you decide to buy after the 14 days just so that we're clear on everything. But here's what a lot of people don't understand. People think that a funnel is like just the series of web pages. They're like, my funnel consists of a landing page and a thank you page. Okay? And while that's great, just thank you for taking action. If you have one of those, that's awesome. At least you're doing something. I'm not knocking that. But what I am saying is that there's so much more to a funnel. And this is where a lot of entrepreneurs and marketers and salespeople that are trying to get leads, this is where they screw up because they think the funnel is just those two web pages, or maybe it's a, a landing page, an upsell page, and a thank you page. And now if, you, if you're not f- familiar with the terminology, a landing page is a page that when somebody clicks a link, they land on that page and it gives them an offer in exchange for their name, email address, and phone number. An upsell page is what the next web page that they would see because anytime you click a button, all it's doing is sending you to another web page. So the next web page they would see might be something to the tune of $47 offers. Like, hey, since you opted in and you're interested in this, you can buy this for $47. And then if they say yes or no, the thank you page is the page that says, okay, we got your information. Thank you for submitting it or thank you for buying or whatever the case is, right? And then it generally tells them to check their email. If you want to see a good example of that, you can head over to elevatortothetop.com. You can get one of my free paperback books sent to you, and you can see that we give you a free book. Then we have a $47 upsell, and then ultimately a $297 upsell. And uh, and you'll, you'll just walk through the whole process. Buy it all. Damn it. Just buy everything so you can see it firsthand. I'd hate for you to miss something, so just go ahead and buy it. And that just totally makes sense. Well, it's fucking awesome. We just told you you get all the network and everything. Anyway, at the elevator to the top. Dot com. And, and that's a good that's about as good of an example of a funnel as you can get. And see, the way that a, a, a real funnel works is the top of the funnel is not the landing page. The top of the funnel is the ad. The the advertisement to me is an exchange of dollars for exposure. So advertising isn't a thing. And when I say ad, I'm referring to actually the marketing piece. Most people refer to it as an ad, but truth is it's the marketing piece because advertising is simply the exchange of exposure for dollars. Like I'm paying Facebook $100 a day for them to expose me to 10,000 people, right? That's advertising. But what I what they're exposing is my marketing piece, which is what most people call the ad. But the truth is it's my marketing piece, which has the offer on it. So let's just use a Facebook funnel, for example. Uh, you can see at a hardcore closer fan page, there is at the very top of the page, there's pinned. It says, you know, get my book for free. That's the marketing piece that I've put advertising dollars behind. You can see it's like picture of the book, black and red, all that stuff. 
And uh, I'll pull it up right now so that I can see him to get over here. And right now I have paid 50 bucks and it's got in front of 50,961 people. So not a bad gig, right? We get a lot of organic exposure and we got a lot of people helping us share it and everything else. But that's the marketing piece. Then that's the very top of the funnel, okay, is what I'm running traffic to. And traffic is paid advertising. Now, what happens when they click this thing from paid advertising, they go to a page that's a picture of the book and it says, get the book now. And uh, it's got a video and some other cool stuff, but it's a really simple landing page. Then they go through this offer sequence, which is a $47 upsell, then a $297 upsell. And, and then whether they take it or not, they wind up at a thank you page that ultimately tells them to check their email. Now, here's the thing. That's the middle of the funnel. Whether they bought the shit or not, that's the middle of the funnel. The top of the funnel is the ad. The middle of the funnel is them going through and hitting the thank you page, not the landing page. That's still the top of the funnel, but the upsell and the thank you page, that's the middle of my funnel. Now, the people that have bought come out the end of the funnel is clients, right? Is, is buyers. And the people who haven't, they get follow-up sequence, which is still part of the funnel. And this follow-up sequence comes across via voicemail, text, and email, which you can use if you're a loan officer, you can use a program called Agent Legend. If you are not a loan officer, you can use Active Campaign or Salesforce. And uh, those two work really well uh, for that. So all you got to do is record a voicemail once. And all you have to do is write an email once. And then all you have to do is write a text message once. And then you put it through this auto follow-up sequence. And so once a person goes through and they do not buy, then this auto follow-up sequence is sending them voicemails, emails, and text message on a on a, a, a correctly designed scale, right? So in other words, they're not just blasting motherfuckers with voicemails every 30 seconds saying buy or die. What's happening is they get a voicemail within three or four minutes. Then later that day, they might get a text message. And at the end of the day, if there's still been no attempt, they haven't bought yet, they might get an email. And we repeat that process for a few days. And so that's all part of the funnel. See, the funnel is everything that it takes in order to close the sale, right? The funnel is called a sales funnel. Matter of fact, if you look at hardcorecloser.com forward slash CF, the advertisement for click funnel says, tired of gluing together your sales funnel. And so to me, the funnel is the entire process. That's where so many people screw up. They have, I hear it all the time. It's like, dude, I got my funnel going. It's converting, man, but I'm not making any sales. You're in the middle of the funnel. It's jobs not to make sales. Sales are made at the bottom of the funnel. The bottom of the funnel is email text message and voicemail you dig that's the communication that you have between you and the lead that's where the sales are made so if you are getting a bunch of leads and you're like hey i'm not closing any of them it's always the follow-up and the follow-up's the most important part listen i wasted hundred thousand dollars on facebook ads wasted it because my theory and i never test data because i'm I, I don't know numbers now i got smart people working for me that do but in the past, and when this was going down in 2015, I wasted $100,000 on Facebook because I didn't know. And uh, well, what I was trying to do was make sales directly from Facebook. So I try to get people to a landing page, then them give me their money. While it worked, it didn't work that well. Okay, so let's say I had a 1% conversion rate for people buying stuff. We got a lot, we got to drive a lot of traffic to convert, to convert 1%. Let's say I had a point 1%. You got to drive a lot of every thousand clicks. You're making a sale. It's a lot of clicks. You got to get your hands on. That's a lot of people that see your stuff in order to even take that click out in the first place. And so, but what I realized in 2016 last year was that people got on our list from the ad, from Facebook, from the marketing piece, but the email was where we were selling stuff. So we bought this software. I don't even know the damn name of it. Uh, but, but Pat does, he set it all up. So we bought this software and it basically tells us where, where things are coming from, right? Like where sales are coming. We just assumed all sales came from social media because that's where we were driving the traffic to. So the software is like, it, it basically sets up and says where the traffic's coming from and so on and so forth. And it turns out all of our sales were being made through email. So then we ramped up and shifted our marketing over to, hey, look, let's start focusing our marketing on collecting leads from Facebook, which is a different offer than trying to make sales. And then we use the email to sell them on the back end. So I want you to think about that entire process, how it applies to your business and how this is the, 
when I refer to funnel, I'm talking about funnel from top to bottom, from ex- first time that they get a glance on you to making a sale. I want you to think along those same lines too. All right, kind of went off on a tangent there. That was totally not at all in the script that I'm supposed to stick to, which never fucking happens anyway. But uh, regardless, I-, I wanted to clear that up with you guys because, man, making some tweaks like that really helps. So let me help you with some things that are usually the problems people run into if they're struggling with their funnel. First of all, they think the funnel's those two pages and not the process. But number one issue that most people have is the wrong audience. And you could have the best offer in the world. You could have the coolest product on the planet. But if it's going, if you have the wrong audience that you're trying to advertise it to, it'll never work. I was talking to a guy the other day on the phone and he has this horse property for sale in Florida. And he's like, man, I've been advertising it to like people in the city where we live, dude, and I'm not getting any bites on it. And I'm like, that's totally the wrong audience. You live in a big city and there happens to be this horse farm in the middle of it. Like nobody in that city wants to buy like a horse farm. They live in a city for a reason. And so what you need to do is you need to find some horse people. You need to start advertising to the horse people. And so that you can build an audience of like horse and rider magazine or whatever the fuck it's called out there. Then you need to start advertising in states like Texas, states like California. It's like one of you run an ad to California. It's like, hey, want to move away? Want to take your horse and move away from the beach? Because California's got more country folks than Texas does. They just they hide them really well in the media out there, right? They're the largest dairy farm in the world. They produce a lot of the livestock, a lot of the farming stuff like that. They're just uh, they just hide their rednecks a lot better than we do down here in the south. And so the reason why I say all that is like there's lots of people paying outrageous taxes in California. They can get that same feel and have a horse farm next to the ocean in Florida. And so, you know, they don't know that Florida doesn't have state taxes. And so that's something you need to make aware of. And so the audience is crucial. Like with the with the horse farm thing, I told them to target horse riding magazines. I told them to target people out in California, people in Texas, people in Alabama, people in Georgia that want to be closer to the ocean, that wanted like no state taxes, like start thinking of it outside the box because you got to have the right people to put the audience in front of, right? The wrong audience is obviously the people that he was advertising to in the city. I sell sales training. If I ran ads to a bunch of people that were software engineers, hell, I wouldn't do nothing but make everybody that was in my audience mad and I'd never make a sale. You got to know who you're selling to. Uh, Number two reason, and these really go, they correlate, go hand in hand. The number two reason uh, people's ads and funnels aren't working is because they have a shit offer, right? Your offer's trash. And, uh, you know, words matter, people. They really do. And a lot of folks just throw stuff up there. I remember I did a Break Free Academy one time. Now, mind you, Break Free Academy to attend. We're doing the next one June 22nd, 23rd this month in Dallas. But mind you, this event costs $5,000 to attend. Uh, that's to, even, even to me, that's a lot of money. I don't care who you are. That's a lot of money. And it's a $5,000 event to attend. And we got about 50 people. We got 65 coming to the one here at the end of June. Unless you want to join us, that'll be 66. We'd love to have you. you just go to breakfreeacademy.com forward slash live. Fill out the form. Um, but we have this gentleman out 50 people in the room. This is the last one, I believe that we did the, the most recent one. And this gentleman came to me He had a terrible offer. He's in the car business. Great guy. Nice guy. Total, total hard worker. He just like words matter folks. And he had just this terrible offer. And it was like, it was, it was something to the tune of click here to get access to the, and then the name of the system that he had. So let's call it the closer system is like click here to get access to the closer system. But nobody, when they read that would know what the hell the closer system was, right? There was no elaboration on the closer system. And now maybe you're listening to this podcast. And if I said the closer system, you'd be like, well, that's something Stuman came up with. That's cool. But like, let's just say that this guy was selling software. And in any way, so I go to tell him, I say, Hey, you know, that's a terrible offer because if, if you could read that to a five-year-old, and the five-year-old couldn't understand it, you've got to make it more simple to where that five-year-old can understand it. And the five-year-old's not going to know what the closer system is. And, you know, he got a little upset. He's like, but this is the offer that I came up with and my system, they'll know what it is. And I'm like, but they don't because you're, you're not trying to sell, sell the people who know you. You're trying to get business from strangers. And we really had to like hold space and go back and forth for a few minutes because I and because he was stuck in his ways, he was convinced 
that his offer was right. And the number one thing that will get you fucked up is a trash offer. If you have the best audience, I mean like you sell, let's say that you sell Mustangs and you've got an audience of Mustang aficionados, like you got the best Mustang aficionados. They love Mustangs. They're the best audience and you got the goods. And then you post in there, I got a 1987 four-cylinder Mustang for sale, mint condition for $150,000. Ain't nobody going to buy that. That offer is shit. $150,000 for a four-cylinder Mustang from the 80s? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Right? That is a shit offer, and it's not always about price. I'm just saying. It's like a sh- another shit offer. Let's say that you sell co- uh, gym memberships. A shit offer is come in and exercise every day for 30 days and lose 10 pounds. That's a shit offer. Why is it a shit offer? Because nobody that doesn't like exercising wants to exercise. And you're telling them that they can work an entire month and lose 10 pounds and they got to put in the work? Oh, hell no. Instead, accomplish the same thing by switching your words around, saying something to spend 30 days with us, look good, feel great, and drop 10 pounds. Right. We took the hard work out of it. We gave them all the things that they wanted. Hey, all you got to do is spend, spend a month with us. We'll help you drop 10 pounds. You spend a month with us. You'll drop 10 pounds. You'll look better, feel better. And uh, if you're a male, your penis will grow twice in length. And so, like, we give them everything that they could possibly want. And, and instead of saying, hey, here's a bunch of hard work that you're going to have to do. I know this because I've had to learn it in my business. That used to – that's kind of a, a repel mechanism that we use. But – you know, it's it's a used to be, hey, don't hit me up unless you're willing to work really hard because we didn't want a bunch of kangaroos that were lazy and stuff just hanging around our front porch, some damn things that get in your trash and all that other stuff. So we we have these, you know, offers now to where they are the feel good. It's like how to make a bunch of sales on autopilot, how to double your business without having to work twice as hard, how to reduce the amount of hours you work and triple the amount of production you put out all at the same time. Like these are things that we were already teaching people to do anyway. We just, we have to shift them around the way that we use words, right? So your offer matters a lot. Number three issue is that your funnel's broken. Uh, Funnels are like a series circuit. Like if you have a plug that goes out in your house, And you know that the plug is out, but the plug before it works, but the plug that's on the wall after it don't work either, then you know that somewhere along that plug, the original plug, there's a disconnect between that one and the main plug because something, the first plug that you looked at because something's not making the circuit connect. Funnels are the same way. You know if you're getting clicks to your landing page and it's not converting, then it's probably the offer that's on your landing page. You know that if you're getting clicks to your landing page and it is converting, but you're not selling anything, you probably need to change up your sales page or your upsell offer. If you get clicks to your offer and you make and you're not making any sales and you maybe you need to make some changes to the email follow up that you use and maybe a little bit stronger call to action, maybe some scarcity, maybe some law of reciprocity, maybe maybe send them a little something nice in the mail, maybe ship them a bag of dicks with glitter covered in them. I don't know, which reminds me. The other day, I get a phone call from American Express. It's like, Bring! it's like, like the phone rings like that anymore. I just happen to see it and I pick it up. It's like, hi, this is, you know, whoever with American Express. We'd like to verify, did you just spend $437 at Forever 21? And I was like, oh, no, I don't, I didn't go to Forever 21. I'm too big for that shit. And um, my little kids, their little kids, they don't wear that kind of stuff either. And my wife, she's bougie. So uh, she ain't wearing that shit either. She's like, okay, well, we're going to cancel your card. We're going to send you a new card out. Uh, but what we do need is for you to verify some of your info. And I gave them some of my credentials or whatever. And then they said, well, we need to verify the last five transactions. And I'm like, okay, all right. She goes, uh, $138 to glitterdicks.com. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's me. She's like, okay. And <laughs> she's like, okay, uh, $76 to shipadick.com. Yep. Yep. That's me too. But look, man, I, uh, I don't shop at forever 21. Okay. <laughs> so it was, it was like awkward for this. Not awkward for me. Hey man, when people fuck with me, sometimes we ship them dicks, right? I used to get mad and call people out. Sometimes you say some stupid shit to me online. We might just ship you a bag full of glitter dicks. Should be all over your house and your mouth. 
people like, dude, you've been blowing glitter dicks again, right? That's not the place where you want to be, especially in the corporate world. Boss is like, where'd all this glitter come from? Then you got a box of dicks in your office. You're going to have some explaining to do. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me online. We take this shit to a new level. We invest in ourselves by shipping our enemies glitter dicks. Don't fuck with us over here. We're like, yeah, don't fuck. We're dangerous people. So maybe your funnel's broken. <laughs> Let me give you a recap real quick. You got the wrong audience, right? If your online ads and funnels aren't working, probably got the wrong audience, or maybe you've got the right audience, but your offer's trash. If it's those two things, if you are getting people to click, then you're getting people to take you up on the deal and you're not making any sales, that means somewhere along the line, your funnel's broken. You need to trace that thing all the way from the advertising piece down to the emails. That's what matters. So, hey, if you're in real estate or mortgages, go to yourfreealarm.com. Give every, wherever you're at in the United States of America, give every single person you close a loan or sell a house to the gift of security and we'll install and give them uh, security for free at yourfreealarm.com. Uh, you just put down that you're the referral. We'll also send you $100 in affiliate money. Uh, you can also get the show notes and everything else over at hardcorecloser.com. And lastly, if you want to see a funnel that works perfect from start to finish, uh, you should buy everything at elevatortothetop.com. See you next week, folks.